A warm welcome to all our TVET lecturers. I'm Prashant Ramdas from Macmillan, and today I will tell you all about the changes to the building and structural construction N6 curriculum. Later, I will show you how the TVET First BSc Students Book and Lecturer's Guide, which have been approved by the DHET, will help you implement the new curriculum perfectly. The DHET has set January 2023 as the implementation date and you will need the new approved textbooks to teach the correct curriculum. This logo, Revised Curriculum 2023, tells you that you have the correct book. The syllabus for Building and Structural Construction N6 has been fully updated for the modern workplace. Let's look at what's changed. The new curriculum has three aims. Number one, to provide background knowledge of the theory and methodology applied in building and structural construction. Number two, to introduce students to technological principles and practices in the industry. And number three, to provide students with the knowledge and skills needed in structural design. Where the old syllabus was divided into two sections and ten modules, the new curriculum consists of only three modules. These are Module 1, Concrete, Module 2, Bending Schedule, Module 3, Iron and Steel. The new modules 1 and 3 mirror the previous Part A, Concrete, and Part B, Iron and Steel. Module 2 covers bending schedules, which was previously part of Part A, Concrete. The only topic from the previous curriculum that is no longer covered in the new syllabus is 2.7 columns, axially loaded. This module dealt with the universal steel columns, rectangular tubular steel column, and pipe columns with gusset plated bases on reinforced concrete bases. That was an overview of important curriculum changes. You will need a new textbook to help you implement the new curriculum. So let's take a look at how the TVET First BSc N6 will help students to succeed. TVET First is written by a team of industry professionals and experienced TVET College lecturers. The course is designed to ensure students' examination success and also to prepare them for future careers in industry. Let's start with the student's book. All the content has clear, easy-to-follow explanations. The book uses a simple, step-by-step -step approach to solving problems and doing calculations. For example, to learn how to prepare a bar bending schedule, or BBS, students are shown how to work with shape codes, interpret the columns in a BBS, and then how to work with diagrams and specifications to do all the calculations to prepare a BBS for a particular item. A variety of example types are used to prepare students thoroughly. There are varied activities for each section, ensuring that the students have lots of practice in all the methods they need to master. There are plenty of photographs and diagrams to support learning. Each module ends with a summary. Students can review all the summaries when they revise for exams to remind themselves of all the key information and skills. Each module also has a summative assessment modeled on exam questions and these provide important exam preparation and practice. For these reasons, the TVET First Students Book is ideal. But no good series is complete without a lecturer's guide to accompany the student's book. TVET First has a comprehensive lecturer's guide, which provides resources to reduce preparation and marking time for lecturers, allowing lecturers to focus on where they are needed, which is teaching and supporting students. The lecturer's guide includes an overview of learning outcomes and how the student's book covers them. It has a photocopiable lesson plan template for lecturers to plan their teaching. Most importantly, the lecturer's guide includes comprehensive answers to all student's book activities and provides clear label diagrams where they are needed. Choose the best support available for this curriculum implementation. Choose TVET first.